Hello viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to another video. Today in this video we will teach you how to calculate standardized anomaly index that means SAI using Excel. So before starting this video I will uh, I want to tell you that please watch this video carefully if you want to learn how to calculate this uh, drought index and uh, I will show you how to calculate step by step procedure first I want to show you the formula how to calculate how to calculate SAI standardized anomaly index first here you can see the formula is x minus mu divided by sigma here x equal to current monthly yearly seasonal rainfall total ok that is observed data and mu equal to mean annual rainfall over a period of observation and sigma equal to standard standard deviation of annual rainfall over the period of observation so first of all we have to calculate the mean annual rainfall over a period of observation here you see uh, we have value from 1981 to 2020 this is the period of our observation and we have to calculate the mean value of the observed data uh, during this period from 1981 to 2020 so first of all let's calculate the average value of the rainfall okay we will denote it by u and then select and calculate the average value ok now click here ok these are the average value of uh, all the stations and during the period of 1981 to 2020 now select copy and then paste here only numbers then clear these contents ok now I want to highlight this by changing color let's insert this color ok uh, our one data is calculated already here you see the mean annual rainfall over a period of observation uh, that means the average annual rainfall over a period of observation is already calculated which we uh, denoted by u now we uh, want to calculate the standard deviation of annual rainfall over the period of observation so you know how to calculate the standard deviation in uh, my previous video I, uh, I showed you how to calculate this one so let's follow how to calculate this one so first of all I want to select the stations copy and then paste ok now you uh, know how to calculate this one we uh, we have to calculate first x minus x m to the power square ok uh, here x means the observed data this these are the observed data and x m means the uh, annual mean data or average data of the observed uh, data then you have to uh, you have to square the value so let's calculate this one equal to x i minus x m average value this one
to the power square okay uh, this is the value of x minus xm to the power square and we want to calculate for all these stations so we have to fix the station here here 45 this one is fixed so we have to fix it okay now all the values are calculated you can also calculate this one okay these are the x minus x m to the power square value and if you want to calculate the standard deviation then you know you have to calculate the summation of this data so after summation you can calculate the standard deviation value so we have already done to calculate x minus x m to the power square value now we will do the sum okay this is the value of summation okay sum sum and now we have to calculate the I want to highlight it now we have to calculate the standard deviation so you know how to calculate standard deviation standard deviation is summation divided by station to the power 0 0.5 that means the square root of uh, summation divided by station if you click here then you will get the value of standard deviation so we have to calculate for all stations okay these are the standard deviation value and now you see we have all data that we need here you see the average or mean value of annual rainfall u and you have the data standard deviation and you already have the observed data x so uh, we have all the data in our hand so we can easily calculate the standardized anomaly index and finally we can do that paste here again okay now we are going to calculate the standardized anomaly index so for this we need to insert here formula the formula equal to x minus u that means this one is x and 
then you have to insert a minus and then you have to insert u divided by standard deviation standard deviation okay then if you press enter then you will get the standardized anomaly index so here you see the value of standard deviation and value of mean or average rainfall is fixed so we have to put a dollar sign here and a dollar sign here okay we want to fix it now if you click double here then okay you have to drag it then you will you will get the values of standard standardized anomaly index you have to drag also here these all the values are standardized anomaly index and finally we uh, we are calculated we, we calculated the uh, standardized anomaly index SAI and hope you guys you can calculate these values with or using only Excel you do not need any other software to calculate the standardized anomaly index okay these are the standardized anomaly index SAI you can also plot graphs using these values okay so hope you uh, hope guys this video is helpful to you and if this video is helpful to you and if you want more videos and further updates then please subscribe my channel and if you have any queries then leave a comment in the comment box below and thanks for watching